evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another match of Dota 2. We have ourselves a match between Absolute Legends, who forgot to activate their team profile, and Fnatic Raid Call. We saw Fnatic RC earlier today as well. However, last game that we saw, and they, which they won, by the way, uh, they were playing with two stand-ins. Uh, this time they have their full roster, as well as Absolute Legends having their full roster, so... Uh, that is the case for this match, and of course, as always, for Star Ladder matches that I cast, the disclaimer, I am not an official caster for Star Ladder this season. For official cast, please go to Own TV where you can see all the matches there, and unlike other matches that I've casted before, there is this time an official English cast going on uh, with Epi on Own TV, so you could check him, him out if you'd rather watch there. So... You know, that is me being polite and all that stuff. So, let's see what we uh, <clears throat> have here, because we're jumping ourselves back to the game, because obviously we are here for that. We have got bands on the Lycan, on the Broodmother, on the Templar Assassin. And I'm kind of hoping that with the Templars, Templar Assassin being banned out, I kind of hope Morphling and, and um, Antimage will be banned out as well. But that's just something I hope for. But we'll see if that's actually going to be the case. Of course, we also have the Naga Siren and the Darkseer still in the pool, as well as the Rubik, which is now banned out by Fnatic RC. Uh, they played him in the previous game with pretty pretty successfully, but apparently afraid that they it, it will be picked up if uh, they don't ban it out, which probably would be a good a good assumption there. And they don't want to face him because they know how powerful he can be. So let's see if we're going to see Darkseer or Naga Siren making it through. Of course, Absolute Legends have a choice. If they ban out one of the two right now, the Fnatic RC will ban out the other one regardless. If they don't ban it out, Fnatic RC will probably not ban either of them out either because then they have a chance to pick up one of the two. So let's see what they decide. That is just uh, one of those tactical decisions that, that you have to make during a draft phase. And, uh, well, they're taking their time, going into bonus time for that one. And, of course, like I said, I mean, ah, uh, well, actually, never mind that. Never mind that. We're going to see an Enigma bad out. That will mean the first jungle hero, or solid jungle hero, out of the pool. Um, Chen and Enchantress, of course, still in, even though we haven't really seen Enchantress lately. So, eh. But Chen is still in. We saw him in the previous game, even though he wasn't able to be successful with his team. Let's see if another course, the, uh... Wants to ban that one out, or still has, you know, I mean, right now you have the Darkseer and the Naga Siren still in the pool. Maybe, maybe they really, 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 really don't want to face either of the two and are willing to give up the other one in that case. And actually pretty pretty sound, pretty good that Absolute Legends ban out the Enigma because now they assume that they are going to be able to pick up the Naga Siren and they already ban out the Enigma so that Fnatic RC cannot go for the Darkseer Black Hole combination, Darkseer and Enigma combination, which is pretty strong, so good one there, but let's see if Fnatic RC is going to indeed give away the Naga Siren, because that would be the one that they would pick up if they if they get there, if they, they pick it up, if they actually ban something out first. Wow, they're taking their time. Like, only 50 seconds left still. Makes you wonder, did they disconnect? They didn't actually disconnect because I can see that, but they didn't disconnect. They're still st thinking about it. I mean, like I said during the episode Legends last ban, it is a very strategical oh. ban, and they go for the Invoker, meaning really? that we're gonna have a match with an Iron Siren as well as a Dark Seer, unless we're gonna see some very unorthodox picks here. But let's see which one after the Legends wanna pick up. Is that indeed that Naga Siren? Because of course Naga Siren and Enigma is very strong as well. So maybe they rather want to have the the dark seer and not want to give away the Naga Siren and Enigma combination. It's just either of the two would be a good pick here. And I would expect Naga Siren and even the dark. Oh, actually, never mind. Okay, it's the dark seer that they pick up there. So valuing the dark seer over the Naga Siren. Let's see if Fnatic RC actually wants to play that. Because I have to say, I mean, lately we've seen Naga Siren being going through draft, drafting phase more than uh, than once. And they go for the Shrek there. Uh, we've seen... Oh, actually, Naga Siren Darkseer is still pretty powerful. But uh, we've seen Naga Siren lose a couple times. So, you know, it's, it's not that 100% guaranteed win hero that you sometimes think it would be, considering the amount of time that she's actually been banned out. Uh, but the, she is picked up here together with the Lishrak, and let's see what Absolute Legends want to do to complement their Darkseer, because Darkseer is, of, of course, a very nice hero, but not just because 
of his vacuum because of his iron shell, more also because of the combinations he can make with different kind of heroes. I'm thinking Disruptor, I'm thinking Sand King, I'm thinking Faces Void even, but it is just one of those heroes that... Tidehunter. Or or Ravage or Tidehunter, that is just, uh, it, it makes for good plays. And of course, what we have, what, uh, if you listen to me more often, you see me, you hear me say this more often as well, and I, I know that I say it basically every time that combination comes to, to pass, but I still want to say it, I still want to make you aware of that, that the Tidehunter's Ravage will go off straight after the song ends, if there is a team fight song, which means that Fnatic RC either have to put on their BKBs before the song ends, or they are losing the team fight most likely. So at least, or now not losing, but they will be ravaged. And there's nothing they can do against it. And that's just one very good, I'm not gonna say counter, but I wanna say counter, but it's a very good thing that you can do against Ten. the Naga Siren song. And we have a Morphling picked up by Absolute Legends as well, so that will be their carry late game. And a Chen pick up for a Fnatic RC. Uh, leaving still each other's in the pool, they might bat it out, but that is, an, at least for now, the only solid jungle hero in the pool for, uh, or in the draft for these teams. We have a Sand King ban out coming out from Absolute Legends. And of course, by the way, Naga Siren, Lashrak, I didn't point it out just yet, but that is of course a very strong lane with the follow-up sun on the ensnare from the Naga Siren. And for lanes for Absolute Legends... I mean, they don't really have those combo wombo, wombo combos just yet, but that Lashrek Naga Siren, I, if there's going to be a, a solo lane there, that could very well turn out to be a first bot going the way of Fnatic RC. We'll see, though. We'll see how it goes. We have a Venomizer ban out from Fnatic RC, so they're kind of fearing that Morphling combination with a uh, Venomizer Harass as support, because Venomizer is, of course, king of Harass. He can uh, do that better than, than most other supports. And there goes the Bounty Hunter. I mean, that's uh, picked up lately as a solo lane. And I don't want to give that away. Of course, Fnatic RC, what they still need, their two heroes that, that, that they still need, is solo lanes. We have a Chaos Knight band out as well. And I'm actually thinking, maybe we're going to see a Brood while they're coming off from Absolute Legends as their last pick. I mean, I actually... Eh. I mean, they bet out the Sand King, they bet out the, the Bounty Hunter, both of those would be kind of counters to that as well, so maybe we'll see that. Um, and of course the Chaos Knight ban out, which is actually pretty pretty wise, because one, they weren't going to pick it up themselves, apparently, and Ten what we normally see with the Morphling is there's something like a Templar Assassin or like a Chaos Knight, if you feel about the same role, around that level 7, level 8, they are at their... Uh, very, no, they are just very powerful, so they can just uh, roam around and get kills and take the attention away from the team to make more to make Morphling uh, able to free farm. A uh, Brood Mother is banned. Thank you, thank you, chat. <laughs> wow, that was a brain fart moment for me. Wow, I didn't realize that anymore. So no Brood Mother there, because that is one thing. Also, since I said I'm casting this via the, via the in-game ticket, so I don't have the lay on my stream, so I can actually get tips from the chat. Thank you for that. And like uh, having my personal co-caster, actually co-casters, zillions co-casters, it's very handy. Shadow Shaman picked up, he is probably going to be played as a support in this game, even though I have, I have hopes, maybe, maybe a Vigos Shadow Shaman. I can hope, right? I can hope. We have a Lone Drew pick up, Fnatic RC, they won with it the previous game, uh, they then had it played by Admiral Bulldog, who is known for his uh, Lone Druid play, so that is of course a slight edge that they had then, but they're gonna try to do it again, they, uh, they picked him up, maybe, uh, oh, gonna give him enough uh, farm to uh, to do something good into that fight, which also means that I'm expecting Naga Siren to be a bit more aggressive early game, just so that a Lone Druid can get his farm up, so that he has the time for that, because that's something that a Lone Druid needs, he needs time. Absolute Legends, last pick coming up from them, I mean they have a tri lane sorted if they want to go for that and then they just need a mid lane and I'm thinking tri lane, tie to Morphling, Shadow Shaman with a Dark Seer solo off lane, in which case they only need a mid lane. We uh, Earlier today, I didn't I didn't cast that match, but we had a, a Vegas Night Stalker who was on a solo lane, so maybe uh, we're gonna see that one once again, there's just so many options still left for those solo lanes that uh, we can't really estimate what that one will be until it's actually picked up and they don't have a lot of time anymore because those five seconds that you see there are the last five seconds that they have and it's still the Enchantress. Oh. 
every time again I just see that head and it's like, oh, I wish you had a normal face again. Anyway, uh, but that indicates that we're going to see Shadow Shaman mid, and maybe we are going to see Shadow Shaman in the Vigos. And of course, we have seen Tidal for solo, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping Shadow Shaman, so that's why I say that. If I say it long enough, everything will become true, right? So for that, I can see one last thing needed. That is a jungle, or oh, sorry, that is a solo hero, because they already got a jungle, they've got a dual lane, they've got a solo lane, they need one extra solo lane. And which one will it be? It will be a mid lane, or yeah, there will probably be a mid lane. I mean, I said there's already still plenty of options left. And uh, sorry for the people in the chat. They changed their face. They've, cha they've changed their face again, though. Like, when the next patch is actually updated, they all change their face again. So that kind of helps. But right now, she is still having her old new face. And that is just looking slightly. I don't know. She looks slightly like she is not that smart. It's a bit sad. And then combine that with the say with her saying point. It's like, what? Anyway. And there goes a brewmaster. So that will be the solo lane for uh Fnatic RC. So they have very tanky heroes. They have two very tanky heroes, that is. Naga Siren Song. I, I like the lineup for Fnatic RC on the other side, I mean it's the morphling that makes me Slightly put Absolute Legends in, in not favor of liking the lineup, but it's still a very strong lineup because that's a just personal preference. It's still a very strong lineup, and we still have a Ravage there. And if oh, we are gonna see a Shadow Shaman by Vegas, so that is some good news. People will spread the word. Here's the overlay change Vegas Shadow Shaman. Let's see if they can be as aggressive with it as we are used to from him because that is, of course, our goal, that is our hopes and our dreams, and that is what should be happening. Because that is just so entertaining Ten to watch. Remaining. Come on, pick up your last Ten hero and we can get the show on the road. This is just a. There we go. And why can't I move? Oh, that is why. I still have to set it to free camera. There we go. And the game is paused instantly coming from, from Absolute Legends, but that will not stop us from going over the heroes, uh, over the players, and who's playing which hero. And they swapped. They swapped. Oh come on! We saw we saw Shadow Shaman being picked up by Vigos. I saw it, and then they swapped. Uh, so we're gonna see support Shadow Shaman. He's gonna be played by Come with me. You can hear my disappointment in my voice. Tide Hunter will be played by Vigos. G on the Morphling, Freezer on the Dark Seer, and Mania on the Enchantress. And no, they. If I name change uh, annoying, I find people changing their heroes annoying. It's so confusing. So let's see, Fnatic RC, Dire Side, who is playing what? We have No Tail on the Chen Shankles this time, or Shnankles, sorry, this time on the Lashrak. JK, he is gonna be playing on that Brewmaster. Trixie will be playing on the Naga Siren. And last but not least, it is Era, this time on the Lone Druid. Does Backtrack word. Works for Void Manta style illusions. I have a bet here. Well, let's see what answer he is gonna get. There is no void in this thing though, and the answer is no, does not. And I think Villa just won 10 euros or something. Oh well, 30 seconds. Let's uh. Let's see, uh, let's see what the lanes are gonna be. We saw everybody of Fnatic uh, roaming on the top lane. They didn't find anybody, but already placed a very, very aggressive ward here uh, that uh, indicates that this lane is gonna be the lane of death and is gonna be the lane with the Shrek and with the Naga Siren and the Chen helping out. And we might see some early towers push because of that as well. Between the Shrek and Chen, it's just a combination that will kick towers over at uh, rapid begin. speed. We'll have. Uh, Oops, we have in the middle lane, we have the Brewmaster. He is able to stay alive in that middle lane fairly well, or should be, and should at least be getting experience if he doesn't. Uh, well, he'll still be staying alive, but he doesn't get last hits, that is. And he will be up for a Morphling combined with a... Nothing. Nothing. It is Dark... I'm not sure why Darkseer is not in the top lane. Maybe he wants to get level 2 first. He's gonna stack that jungle. He'll have to fight Mania over those creeps, though, in the middle, on the bottom lane. We see a dual lane with uh, Vigas upon his uh, Tide Hunter and uh, come with me upon a Shadow Shaman. Then they'll be going up against Lone Druid, who su well, who successfully pulled one creep away from the lane. Grats to you, grats to you, Era. 
One ranged creep is what you get. What's he doing? Oh. I'm pulling the lane back. Well, one is what he needs. And I'm gonna put the last of ten eyes over so you see that. And we see indeed uh, the dark seer. He's trying to get to level two. And at level two, he'll get a surge. And then he might be moving on to that top lane. But until then, he doesn't feel safe there. And I have to say, I do not blame him because this combination is just very painful. With an Argus Iron and the Strike. And he knows exactly what he would be up against, of course. And he knows exactly what the dangers are of that lineup. Meet him mid lane, it is uh, Morphling pulling ahead of this uh, Brewmaster. No real surprise there, range for this melee to start with. Of course, Brewmaster is a quite tanky hero, but he will still, uh, will still get a rest by G. He is 8 for 4 for now, and Brewmaster being 3 for 2. So it is G that is pulling ahead, definitely. Uh, with the Lone Druid still level 141 experience for you for that one range creep that he got. Congrats indeed. And he got some more this time, he's got 3. And here comes the creep wave, and the creep wave is going to help him kill off uh, those ones and get the last hits for those. So more experience for him. Uh, with Freezer actually moving towards his bottom lane, he's going to be putting on an iron shell here, I would reckon. There he goes. Uh, to be able to push the lane back further, and I am not quite sure if they're going to stick on this lane and just leave the top lane entirely open. The surge goes in, and Chandra's coming off on the side, slowing down already. And there would be a clap, or will it be? There's not even needed. We have Era still alive, but no last hit from Freezer gets the first blood and absolute legends. Taking the lead. Nice gank, but losing four heroes to do that. I mean, it is nice that you get that first blood, and it's nice that you get the gold and you get the kill. But at the same time, you're leaving Naga Siren alone. You're leaving Naga Siren alone to farm. Though having said that, it is still Morphling that has more farm than solo farming Trixie, which in theory should not happen. G should in theory have less last hits purely because he is not alone on his lane. He has got two the nice against him and it is Trixie that that is free farm. There's nobody against him. He should be getting almost every single last hit. But that is just something for a later concern I would guess. In the meantime still three on this bottom lane as Freezer has decided to stay there. So you might see the star going down fairly fast. They find the bear and uh, they find Era once again. This time, no enchantress to help out, though. And there's another Iron Shell clearing out the creep wave quite fast. So they have set their mounts, mines onto this tower. And with the next creep wave, they might be able to do it as well. And we have a donkey bringing the soul ring up to the dark sea, helping out. And now that the bottom lane is being pushed, Fnatic RC knows, you know what? We want to push as well. We need to push as well. And we have a Lashrak as well as a Chen, so we are able to push faster and they have a bigger creep wave as well and they will be getting this tower down fairly fast as uh, this enchantress is being really annoying with her tornado here and uh, being fairly aggressive as well, I mean tower this is just, uh, this is a massive difference, having four heroes commit to one lane and three heroes commit to one lane, one tower, tower will go down of course on the top lane earlier there's nothing that you can do against that edict and Chen actually picked up the last hit for that one and they're just gonna continue by the looks of it. And they uh, they now have Freezer against them, who's level 3. Iron Shell is up there on the creeps to do some harassment, but the creeps will still be picked off. And uh, there will be an Edict against Dune again as well, and that, that will be a tower down to half HP. In the meantime, tier 1 tower going down on the bottom lane. No real surprise, because we saw that being pressured, and there's nothing that Lone Druid can do either. On this uh, bottom lane, he is a level 2, he should be happy he got that much. And uh, Iron Shell wants up again, but there's the Ensnare. There's nothing to follow it up on though, because Lashrak is already gone. And Mania TPing in here, as well as the Titan. So they want to go for this Lashrak stun. Is some Mania. Titan from slightly too slow. Uh, gets a surge though. That will help. Gosh, lands on the Naga Center, and they really want her. But he will be sent home. Should be fine. They change their eyes. Going to Lashrak. Change their target. Lashrak has put an Edict on though. Vigos taking a lot of damage from that Edoc Edict. Hanker Smash goes through, but I'm not, I don't think, oh wow, test of faith, not enough to, t to make the kill, but still getting very close ahead, and they are coming back here, Trixie back here as well, TP back to his tier 1 tower, there is the Ensnare, and there's no tower to save you, man, yeah, he'll go down, and it is the Shrek that picks up the kill there, and there's nothing that Absolute Legends could do against that, apart from not chasing when they couldn't, that's basically the, ca basically, uh, the case. Uh, Shadow Shaman is by himself here on this uh, bottom lane now versus uh, Lone Druid, who is now level 3. Congrats to you, Era. Almost uh, level 4 upon the Shadow Shaman. And uh, we have, of course, uh, Mania back to base as well as Vegas. I mean, he got very low there and wants to be uh, back alive. In the meantime, it's still, it is 
still the more fling that has farmed most of all. 37 for 10. And he is really pulling ahead, not just of this uh, Brewmaster, who's really not getting that much. He's at 19 for 4. But he's pulling ahead of the Naga Siren. He's pulling ahead of everybody right now, based on last hits. We're doing a good job there. One thing that we do have to note is that... Oh, wait a second. Gosh, eat the Shock, Shadow... Sorry, Lone Druid. Yeah, there you go. Shadow Shaman picks up the kill there with his amazing right clicks. And a uh, solid kill at that. That's the second kill of... Uh, second death of Era going down. And uh, Shadow Shaman, is, I think as soon as he's level 6, he'll want to see this tower go down. But for now, he's almost level 5 and uh, he's going to continue keeping the pressure on by the looks of it. Getting the tower already down a bit lower Dyer's before those wards are up. Is under attack. And, oh, there they go. Do they have a smoke? No, they do have mana boots from the Tide Hunter. But they're going to try to maybe get in the gank up on that Brewmaster. Brewmaster, who is not level, or he is level 6, six actually, so he would be able to uh, just ulti out of there. And let's see if they can still get him, though. I mean, they have got a hex as well as the ensnare. So if they can get him down in that period of time, then he will be able to uh, to get him before he's placed. They will have help of the enchantress as well, but it's going to be the Titan that they chose himself first. There's the Gush, there's the Illusion Rune, Anchor Smash will hit, and they will just uh, force him back and not do anything after that, but we do have them standing around. They are waiting for their opportunity. They are waiting to kill off JK upon his Brewmaster. We're going to see if they're going to do that. Uh, waiting for the pass to go off first. It is uh, Brewmaster that actually passed the game, so we're going to have to wait for him. In the meantime, we'll take a look at the gold graph. I mean, it's only seven minutes in. Everything can still happen. And it's uh, 500 gold in favor of the Radiant side. And I mean, it's one kill in favor, so we really cannot read out too much of that. And one thing that I wanted to say earlier is that Chen, compared to Enchantress, it is Chen that will get more gold in the jungle than the Enchantress. Uh, so that will make a slight difference in uh, last hits. Even though having said that, we can of course check their last hits. We had 27 for the Chen and Enchantress only 11. Of course Enchantress has been more on the lane and we're roaming around than the Chen has. But it does make a difference uh, gold-wise for sure. And experience-wise of course as well. So that will be slightly in favor of Fnatic and experience graph is in favor of Fnatic 750 experience and that is partly reason the reason uh, the reason of that is partly well English yes uh, four heroes of absolute legends were on that bottom lane pushing the tower at some point so they were getting experience on two lanes bottom and mid while Fnatic got experience on three lanes so and the jungle so that is a big difference right there Okay, we're still waiting and we don't have oh voice IP issue issue so I don't know if that is actually the what it stands for but I do know that it stands for the vo voice thing so we're waiting for them to fix their communication because of course I mean you can't really really do uh, do your communication thing I mean do your dota without communication dota is a team game and if you voice over IP thank you. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. They're sponsored by Rayco, and if he then says VoIP issues, that is not really good. Sponsors and stuff. Yeah. But uh, maybe it's to do with the with someone's computer instead, right? Let's hope it for them. We have an unpause again. The readies have been called out, so let's see if JK is going to be uh, staying alive here. And it's gonna live through the gank, but it's actually cancelled. Okay, well that is disappointing. I was really anticipating something to happen here. But it looks like they're gonna go for Lone Druid instead. Lone Druid who's, who thought, oh yay, the lane is free, I can farm, I can get some gold. But he is gonna be disappointed fairly soon. Yeah. There's the slow, there's the Shadow Shaman trying to catch up with the slow. A lone Druid summons his bear back, is gonna try to help uh, them block the with the bear. But there's the Ether Shock as well as the Hex and Snare as well, keep helping out. Very useful, and that is going to be Brumas dead in the mid lane, and Tide Hunter dead there too, but I'm following this lone druid. <gasps> and he goes down, and Enchanter picks it up. At the same time, it is in the mid lane, where a lot of action was happening as well. It is a Tide Hunter trade for a Brewmaster, Brewmaster, who was not able to TP out, by the way, before he could, uh, or TP out, sorry, it was split before he died. And neither did the Tide Hunter use his Ravage to get those kills, and Morphling actually able to pick up the kill for the... Um, for the Brewmaster, so he gets that advantage and he moves back to the top lane to continue farming there because there's a lot more space to farm here considering that the tier 1 tower is down. Trixie is gonna harass this more slightly, but we form 
against the Ether Shock is just uh, not that useful song being used. Otherwise, you would not be safer anymore because Freezer came in here. We'll give them also space to deny this tower because they will want to do that unless unless Trixie just wants to. Oh, deny, deny, Trixie! You might be regretting that you actually came there. Hand of God going through will be enough. Surge up on G. He might be able to get this kill. G trying to TP out. Will it be an another strike? No, not skilled. Vacuum in though. Vacuum will do the job as well as Freezer's last hit and Absolute Legends. Pick up another kill. And it is 5 for 2. And Morphling again being close to a kill, having uh, some nice experience going on right there. He is level 9 compared to the hero he was against, is level 7. And I am. I. I want to say that it was not worth dying for, obviously, for the Naga Siren. But if she would have gotten that last hit on the tower. There would be a lot of people that would say, well, that might just be worth it, because that is a lot of gold. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And it is a reliable gold that you get from the last hit of a tower, so it doesn't go away when you die. Oh, hello, you're slightly out of position. The centaur helping out, but it's still weep from that picks up the kill on the chat. More of the Shrek is <laughs> gonna die as well. Time on Drex to pick that one up with the Morphling weaving Morphling strength slightly, and two kills picked up fairly easily again by Astral Legends and Fnatic RC. Slightly seeming to be uh, mispositioned right there with their Chen, with their Lushrak, probably on their way to try and push the tower down, but you know, there's just heroes around there and they do have a board there and Snare in the meantime up on the Enchantress. She is outnumbered, she is dead. Naga Siren picking up a kill, making sure that she at least also has something as the invisibility rune spawns top. So, a bottom, I mean. Hello? You have a ward here, you see the rune. Hello? Hello? Hi, there you go. I have an invisibility room. What? What? Well, now, okay, yeah, now he is coming there. Brewmaster. That took him long, though. That took him really long. It looks like they didn't notice that he wa it was there before that. But anyway, they do get the uh, room. No, they don't. No, they don't. Shadow Shaman denies the room. Oh. Oh, what what do I say about that? Like, really, I'm not gonna even say anything about that. So, the graphs, everybody loves graphs. We see uh, 1,200 gold in favor. Ooh, KJ turned into a chicken. And the son from Lashrak helping out there. Wars there from the from the Shadow Shaman as well, though, gets turned into a tornado. And it is actually tied onto the drops here already from the track And uh, come with me, trying to get away from this one. Shadow Shaman was trying to do what they can. Mania and come with me, getting stunned by the track So the track going down to the ether struggle of come with me. And now the split is gone. Now Brewmaster needs to go home. And there is the send back, and he will be able to survive that one. And it is a track trading against a tight hunter. I don't think that as well. Eh, eh. Ravage was used, so and for uh, for uh, Absolute Legends that was not worth it. It is Lone Druid that uh, picked off, uh, or sorry, it is Lone, yeah, it's Lone Druid that picked off the ancient, uh, sorry, the Enchanters. Wow, focus, yes. Lone Druid that has left his lane, he's got 1200 gold, let's see what his bear has. He uh, has an orb of venom and boots, so not all too uh, exciting, but Enchantress uh, did use her heal, but was just not enough. Shadow Shaman on his way home, and it will be tied onto that... Uh, is slightly outnumbered here, but should be okay. In the meantime, it is the Naga Siren that is still free farming and is actually now ahead of that Morphling based on last hits. But I'm gonna put up net worth because right now that is worth so much more since we already have some towers going down. Uh, towers are actually uh, in favor of Fnatic RC right now with one tower in favor. Uh, even though that last tower, of course, got denied. Uh, but it is. Um, also to kill difference, so that worth just uh, just a bit more accurate right now to uh, have ourselves a view on the game where we see Darkseer ahead of the Naga Siren. And one thing that I have to point out because yeah, this I was gonna say Naga Siren ahead again because the stuff that is on the donkey does not count. Do and snare on this tide hunter. He is gonna try to get away. Is there gonna be another snare? Will he be as so lucky? No, nope, not even gonna try hitting him. But uh, it is everything that is in the donkey doesn't count, so that's why you see it changed around so much just now, because the donkeys were on their way both to the, the, the Morphling as well as to the Naga Siren. And uh, we see uh, Enchantress stealing a creep from the Chen, actually the other way around, and there, there, wards again, Either Shop doing massive damage, Chen goes down to come with me already, Lone Druid on the run as well as Brewmaster, Bear tries to do what he can, 
And it is uh, it is being picked up so fast, as well as a bear freezer gets the hundred gold. And the resummon was a bit too slow. Here comes Morphling from the side, wants to go for air. Nice and snap and snare upon Vegas. He's gonna try to DP up, but Adapter Strike was there this time. You learn from that one, and Morphling picks up the kill, and Vegas can move back towards the tower where he wants to be. Song is still there for Night of Simon. If they want to go for that split, though, 19 seconds cooldown and snare up on the up on the Shadow Shaman. But he can still raise in the tower, so he doesn't mind that much. Mania is going to be able to back off as well. And this might be a tier 1 tower going down, unless they really want to stop it. Of course, they can song right when the... No, too late. Vacuum in. Ravage being used. Hits on 2. Anchor smash. It, it, there's the song. I was going to say, will the song be in time? Yes, it will be. Lashrak's song is not going to hit anything anymore. But Naga Siren is going to stay alive as well. So Lashrak, in the meantime, it is the Brewmaster. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Why was he there? His whole team backed off and he was in the middle of everything in the song when the song went off. When Naga Siren got out of range, he was just at the wrong position and he dropped. And it is that one that is going to cost them a tier 2 tower. I do think if they had the Brewmaster, they could have gone in there. They could have used it because the Ravager was on cooldown at that time already. And Tidon picks up a kill on the tower, that is. And he is building towards the mechanism for his team. As we see Shadow Shaman, he's got 1k gold. Curious to see what he's going to go for next. And Dark Seed, 1200 gold. No real big items yet up on all those of, of all those heroes. Uh, but it's the Morphling that we should keep an eye on. And he has decided to go for an Ethereal Blade first. Which is actually not really what I was expecting him to go for. Purely because, like I said at the start of the game, there are two heroes of Fnatic RC, both the Brewmaster as well as the Lone Druid, that are just very tanky. And you can't get them down with a one shot. It is uh, not with uh, yeah. It is just very difficult to do. But still, it is the Lashrak and the Chen that might be able to to, uh, to die from that. In the meantime, someone is in some trouble. Oh, Courier is in some trouble. Radiant Courier. And there's a gush of your face as a result. Vigos now has to back off though. He is as Oh, hello Wards. And there's he is there as well. There's a slip from the Brewmaster. There's Mania that gets stunned by the Lashrax on and will probably die here. Or will he not? He was up there. He is still alive. Running for his life. Will be able to do so. Free but freezer in and snare. He is not gonna be able to run for his life. Or is he? Or is he? No, Surge, not in time for that one. Lone Druid picks up the kill in the meantime. Night of Siren went down to the Shadow Shaman's wards. It is the Shrek that still dies to the Morphling, and it is Vigos that runs away, still got to gush up, and Brumas and Snared creeps helping out, and that is Morphling picking up the kill, double kill for Vigos, and they dusted, they s or smoked, I should say, and they are on their way to the Chen because they got that extra movement speed. I don't think they're going to be fast enough, though, or maybe they are. They are trying, though. They don't know which way he went. And they're all, ah, hello, hello, Druid. Taking a gush to the face. There is, of course, a ward there, and that is a triple kill for G. Even though, of course, the time in between was a bit too, lo too long, but that was a triple kill for sure. And that is a ward paying off. And the ward is not even that old, so it already, uh, already paid back for its existence right there. And Darkseer building a pipe for his team. And there is the <laughs> ethereal blade complete, and that is Lushrak. Lushrak would be able to die from that, and he does. Monster kill streak for him. He is 8 for 0 right now. And the thing that we see for Morphlings when they get this big, it is happening for Absolute Legends. It is very hard to stop them right now. I mean, like, very hard. They, of course, have the disables, they, ha they have the, the, the Lashrak stun, they have the Ensnare. And they have the song to set it all up, but. You have to catch him out by himself, and you have to be there with more than three heroes. In the meantime, top lane, it is going to be Naga Siren that is going to be trying to do something here. But Aethershock will get rid of his illusions, and there's a song to help him get away. Trixie does not want to be here anymore. And it is Tyson that's on his way now as well, because the song is on cool, and this might be the opportunity for them to go in here. But there's too much support already coming in. And that is them backing off. Ravage is off cooldown again, though, I mean, and as well as the mechanism being there. And they might think about going in at some point, but I'm not sure they know that Fnatic RC is actually here with four people into their jungle. And I say four when I actually mean five, because Brewmaster is in that jungle as well. So it's Fnatic RC that's feeling like they're on the back foot, that's feeling like they should be extra careful. And to be fair, we feel like they're at the back foot as well, because that gold grab is, does not lie. Oh, they find Freezer. No entangle up on you, but you're gonna be, and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Everybody's gonna be fine. Tower is not gonna be fine, though. Morphling picked that one up. 
and it's gonna TP to the mid lane because mid lane has farm and farm is what he lives for and is 1700 gold up on him. He almost has the courier back again. Five seconds. I mean, we did see that picked up, and that is a big thing. That is a lot of gold going towards Fnatic RC. It's almost as much as a tower, and they need that gold because if we look at the map, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, he's invisible. Sent you word. Oh, don't come back, though, Vegas. Don't come back in range of that one. He wants to come back in range. Now they see him though. There's the ensnare. And that is a ravage. He is all by himself. Here comes Freezer. He's gonna try to help out. Mechanism. Vacuum in. Will there be more? Lashrax on. Does not hit. Vegas still alive. Wants to do something. But no. No support. And Lone Druid picks up the kill. The support was just too far away. They wanted to go in there. But that sentry ward ruined it. Used two sentry wards for that though. And smoke up instantly by Fnatic RC. They know the ravages have cooled down. Uh, on cooldown as well as Tide Hunter not being there. This could be the opportunity. We see JK being turned into a chicken blink away from Come With Me with the blink dagger that he purchased there earlier. Wow. English. And it's G, G that's on the run, but he can morph into his illusion, so he is just fine. He is playing a tag right now and he is gonna win. And that's uh, basically his deal, and uh, Fnatic RC knows that, so they're not even gonna chase that anymore. And it's a 19 minute game with a Chen in there, and with Chen and Enchantress, and no Roshan just yet. And with a Chen and Enchantress, you have those heroes and creeps that can tank up that Roshan. So, quite surprised to see uh, Roshan not being attempted just yet. We do have a Dire Ward there, so if it's one that's gonna try it, for now it is the Dire. Uh, but then again, they would have to deal with a uh, team fight that probably would happen if uh, they get scouted out. In which case, there will be a Ravage up, not yet, but there, sh there should be a Ravage up again. At the same time, they have Song, they sh so they should be fine in theory. So curious to see that uh, nobody is going for that just yet, apart from maybe Vigas. But like I said, Dyer has a ward here. So if they try that, there's like advertisement that they are going to go for it. So not sure if that's the wisest choice. We have 10k in favor gold, and it's the experience graph that drops slightly after that last kill. So the Shaman Wars being used for uh, the Roshan and Snare and Shackle as well and it is uh, gonna be there. The song will be there as well. If she stands here and puts the song up everybody will be slept. And the background is already there and the uh, Morph Morphling already picked up the ages as well. Trixie is uh, going back once again knowing that she was too late and uh, will be sent home as well after using that Riptide to just harass slightly 26 seconds before that ravages up once more. It's a Shackle clear out to wave. Looks like they're attempting to go for the tier threes, perhaps double damage up on Morphling, and he has uh, picked up a uh, Jasha, so it's going for that Manta style. And we have Brewmaster picking up a Blink Dagger, so initiating will be a lot easier for him now, as uh, they have some more team fight for that. And Absolute Legends actually hanging around this mid lane. Of course, and we know why G is standing here. He is looking for Lashrak or Chen to pick up and then morph into his replicate. That is his goal. But if he's gonna find it, I don't think so. Uh, he's already gone again, giving up on his attempt to snipe someone. And that will mean that the rest of his team is backing up now as well, knowing that without the Morphin they cannot really win that fight. And everybody's going back to farming. No real surprise there. And look at how far that Morphling is pulling ahead of the rest. And there's a song being used. They find three. Mirror images. Yeah. And Riptide. Vacuum in though, Ether Stroke as well. There's a split from the Brewmaster. Mania trying to get away. We'll be dropping down here by the Brewmaster. And a web and an ensnare up on Shadow Shaman. Double kill for the Brew. And the last two to, to go away here is uh, the Tide as well as Freezer. How did Tide get there so fast? Oh, the, uh, he TP'd in. Ravage. And it is Morphling that was in here too. Picks up the Lashrak on the side. Vigos and Snare, vacuum once again. Is he gonna be able to get away? Another net there with Trixie taking a lot of damage. Having to back up. Will we stand home? Should be in time though. 40 HP will live indeed. And is uh, G that's looking for more kills. Gonna find the Chen there. We for misses, but I don't think that will matter. It will just delay his execution. And execution it will be. And more play beyond godlike. 10 4 0. A nice uh, comeback from a team fight that was attempted to take by Fnatic. They thought they had three caught out, and they did. But tier 1 towers still up there means that you can TP there very, very fast. And that, those TPs, they killed off Fnatic and they lost their Lashrak and their Chen. And they're going to be able to, or not going to be able to, uh, to use their song anymore for another 40 seconds. Blinking, Clap, he doesn't have his ulti anymore though, and they know it. Ethereal Blade, one more hit needed, and there's the Ether Shock to finish it off. Come with me picking up the kill and going to go away afterwards again. Bear cannot do anything there. Naga Siren using her uh, 
Solry gonna try to push back the lane, leaving the heroes in the mid lane to uh, kill off the bear. He'll be blinked back, he's fine. Resummoned, rather, sorry. Enchantress building towards an uh, sorry, Aghanim Scepter. Able to get that extra long range so she can stand outside of the fight and hit stuff. Mantel completed up on that Morphling. We see, uh, oh. We see Tidehunter picking up Perseverance. Dyer's top tower. So I'm thinking Refresher. Because, uh, that would be nice. <laughs> They are ahead to be fair and they can just pick up everything they want to right now. They have a mentor, they have the levels. Let's take a look at the levels for a second there. I mean level seventeen up on that morphling with level nine lowest up on the track and still level seventeen versus level thirteen highest up on the dire side is a big difference there. Shadow Shaman Wards will uh, help push down the tier three tower. Putting up net worth once more. And we have the tier three tower taking a lot of damage. Pipe is up there, so if they want to fight this they have to wait until the pipe is up if they really want to do something there and snare. But Tidehunter will still be able to hit the tower. Hello, Ethereal Blade by Chen. And the song is off cooldown, but do they really want to go in there? Lashrak Sun does it on Vigos. Ravage is up and get a 5 seconds. Blinking, clap, split there. He cannot use the Ravage now because that would mean he doesn't get the Brewmaster in there. We have the Shrek being picked up by the Morphling on the sidelines. And there is a the Morphling being ensnared here. And he might, he might be actually be still as an Aegis. Ravage being used then. And it is G that is still able to do a lot of damage there up on the Naga side. We'll pick up the kill. One Druid drop to the Shadow Charmin in the meantime. And the Brewmaster drops. And that is a team wipe. And that is absolute legends. 25 to 9. And I would not be surprised to see already a GG coming out. Because I don't think it will stay with this one barracks that they just got. They have the opportunity to go for more. They have the opportunity to go for that mid lane as well. And it could... Yeah, there we go. GG has been called. And it is Fnatic RC that is taking a fall on their absolute legends pressure that just uh, had no end team fights uh, win the game the ravages win the game and more playing so farmed up win the game and then even with leaving the naga siren free to farm naga siren had free farm for the first at least 10 minutes of the game on that top lane and that didn't help them take down this game well, this was a match for star ladder this was uh... Probably the last message I'm gonna cast. My name is Shiver. If you want to support me, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube. That would be very much appreciated. YouTube.com slash Shiver Gaming. And, uh, oh, and Snare, we form out. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, once again, disclaimer I am not an official caster for Star Ladder. Uh, for official cast, you can check out owned TV. There's a lot of official casts on there. So I'm casting this uh, via using the in game ticket. And uh, that is how you can see this game. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'll be uh, dropping out of this game. Like I said, I don't think there's going to be another game to cast for me because I'm trying to only cast the matches that do not have Toby casting as well. And um, I'll see if there's anything else. But I do think that the last one that was going to be there has been a death win for the team that was supposed to face the retry. As the retry got disqualified from Star Letter Season 3 and Season 4. So that will be it. And, uh, well, we'll see if we're, if we're going to have more. Stay tuned if you want to check that out. And otherwise, uh, I wish you a good evening and thank you for watching. Oh, There. That one as well. Even though it's quite late, but still there. Oh, well.